英霊剣豪七番勝負勝負四五番目宮本武蔵ライダー国上地獄一切粛清源の来光バーサーカー集合地獄一切応酬主権同時いざ尋常に勝負Let's try to get rid of Samagata Hell first. I don't need a Berserker in this battle. So, Kentoki, ride. Can't tell if that was all her health or not. Okay, it was, but eh, for good measure. Fine by me, what the fuck did you do to him? Uh, debuff resist down? That's it? All right. Oh yeah, I think she also like steals NP with basic attacks now. Uh, decrease NP gauge for a single attack during normal attacks. Yeah. And I think, what do you, what do you do? You do something similar. You, you decrease the crit stars, right? All right. Release noble phantasm. Kiss your ass goodbye. If I have to use my command spells to make sure that this is a that this is an easier fight, I will. Okay, I think that was the first hundred thousand or so. Yeah, hundred seventy-three thousand. So I already took out more than half her health. All right. Not too much of it left. I can take that down in another combo. All right, so that's perfectly fine. Wow, except that El Malloy is dead. Uh, well, this is a problem. <laughs> Mash, it's time for defensive roll. All right, uh, first of all, defense up. Uh, how much longer is that attack up? That only lasts for the next turn. I have to hope that Kentoki's crits can kill her. And also, fuck you. Information erasure. Alright. Kentoki, I've never needed you to crit more in your life than you will right now. Please do 30,000 crit. Thank God! The most annoying one goes down. <laughs> it's called evasion. Fuck you. Oh, the problem is now she's going to be taking all my uh, fucking crit stars.
Oh, and she has an evasion move, right. Still, I think it was a better idea to take her out than fucking have to deal with uh, the Berserker. Alright. Does she have a crit move? I don't think she does. Or a, like, MP up move. I don't think she does. I'm gonna stun her just in case. There we go. Cool. Oh, but she has an AoE. That's not going to protect the others. Mmm, shit. Oh, I didn't think this through. Alright, well, important thing. I need Jack to live. <laughs> I can at least use both their Noble Phantasms together to get an advantage. There we go. This will at least, I think, take down her first bar. It's about, like, what, 50,000 damage? Yeah, about 50,000. Not terrible, not great, but not terrible either. That was another about 50,000 damage, yeah. There we go. And that will most likely kill the other two. Yup, definitely dead. Man, fuck you and your evade. Hey, Angria, you want to jump in anytime soon? There you go. Alright, oh, Musashi is also here. I forgot about her. Oh man, look, Musashi, you actually get to be fucking useful for once. Jesus. I'm gonna crit up. Mystic Slayer. I'm okay with that. Kind of. Not really. Alright. Yeah, that's not gonna make a difference. I just wanna get him out of here because he's fucking useless. <laughs> Might as well use this. Be the first time fucking Musashi actually contributes to one of these goddamn fights. Oh, does that remove her buffs? Damn it, fuck you and your evasion. Alright, one more turn and then I'll be able to lay waste. Mm 
Okay. Uh, no, wait. She'll have an evade. She'll be fine. All right. All right. Godspeed, Jack. I don't actually know how much damage that was. Ooh, quite a bit. Yep, this battle's over. I was fully prepared to use both my command spells to do that, but since they killed El Meloy so fucking quickly, which I should have expected bringing a uh, caster to a rider fight, but I still turned out pretty well. I didn't lose my whole party. <laughs> Musashi actually came in handy for once. Another step closer to finishing Shimosa. I may actually manage to finish this before Salem comes out. All right, the war drum beat is a nice effect, but uh, can we can we move on? Thank you. Laughter. Ouch. That wasn't very nice of you, but that's okay. Nobody wants to hear a story about a bad honing wi Oni winning, right? Oh, that hurts. It really hurts. I can't remember the last time my chest hurt this badly. And again, with this big a hole through me, I guess it should hurt pretty bad, but you know... Believe it or not, I really gave this all I had, you know? Shuton Doji. I don't understand. I blocked your blade. How can it still hurt this much? So this is the power of the Mion Jingiri Moramasa? No, this is your power, isn't it? The true power of Shinmen Musashi. Yes, I couldn't spot it back when I fought Lord Inshin, but with you two, it was all too easy to see. I may still have a long way to go, but even I could see how completely your karma has stagnated. If I couldn't cut something so obvious, I'd have no right to hold a sword. Thanks, Kalasutra Hell. Without you two, I wouldn't have gotten the hang of severing karma. Keep your sarcastic thanks. You and I know full well you didn't need our help to figure that out. Still, I don't understand. How could a servant like me lose to a flesh and blood human like you? A question I've been asking since the beginning of this story. You may excel at taking large armies, but in a one-on-one -on -one duel, I had the upper... No, that's not it. The only reason I was able to beat you is because I've met swordsmen who are better than you before. You are stronger than me, but I've already battled others who are stronger than you. How did you beat them? You're human. In which case, I can't afford to lose to you. Not when I've got bigger fish to fry. Well, that's nice. You already have someone you hate more than me. So I simply don't measure up, hmm? But I suppose that's just what swordsmen are like. I see you're as fiercely competitive as any of them. I envy that. I never had a rival who could push me so far. The Aegis Swordsmen are- This Aegis Swordsmen are truly fascinating. In a one-on-one -on -one duel, they are all monsters in their own right. Vane, was it? The master who came here from the far-off land of Kialda? Please take good care of those two children. You should find Onwi and Totsuki in the small shrine up ahead. Some got to hell. Shooting Doji was indeed lying earlier. We didn't lay a finger on them. I will pretend to be shocked. I simply can't bring myself to kill children. I must have been broken inside right from the beginning. Well before I was embedded with the curse and became a heroic spirit swordmaster. 
That's why I just couldn't act how I was supposed to. If we hero expert swordmasters are supposed to curse everything that is good and embody all that is evil, then I failed because I'm broken. Still, I'm glad I'm broken. Thanks to that, I didn't end up killing those children. Just go, Raiko. You already had an entire event to yourself. Go. Could I ask you to give Onwe a message for me? What is it? Tell her. Tell her I'm sorry for tying her up. I'm afraid I got a little rough when I cut her ropes. Whether I tell Onwe your message or not is up to her. It depends on what she thinks of you. Okay. And if I may ask you something as well, Lord Vaini Zanagi? We seven heroic spirit swordmasters are wicked creatures attempting to consume this entire world. Please make sure you defeat all of us, prevent the arrival of Onriido, and save the children of Shimosa from our scheme. Thank you. I wish Kentoki were here. You two would have gotten along so well. He technically was. He's the one who ran over uh, Samagata a lot. If only we he were here, I could have died at your hands sooner. I am as a disgrace as a mother. Okay, I really hate the fact that somehow, because Raiko's so insane, she just cancels out the curse for the most part. I don't get it. Whatever. Well fought, Rider of Kalasutra Hell, Berserker of Samagata Hell. I found them. They're okay. Neither has a scratch on them. Thank goodness. That is a tremendous relief. You said it. But I thought they were tied up. The tall lady with the sword went swoosh and cut them for us. Say, where is she? She said she was going to go talk to all of you. Are you done talking already? Yep, we're all done. She left already. There was something important she had to take care of, but she did ask us to tell you she says hello. I see. She said she was an Oni, but she really she wasn't really a bad person, was she? No. I mean, I guess, depending. I don't know. I've summoned her. I wouldn't personally trust her with my life, but that's just me. I knew it. Gaga goo. You know, when Tutsuki was getting fussy, she lulled him back to sleep right away. She also let me rest my head on her lap and sang us a lullaby. She reminded me of Mom. So... I see. That's great, Onwe. But you shouldn't stay outside for too long or you'll catch a cold. Let's go home. We'll go straight to bed and have breakfast at noon after we wake up. She gave me a message for you. What was it again? She said she was sorry for tying you up. It didn't hurt at all. The ropes were really loose. I see. You know, Grandpa, she really did remind me of Mom. What is it? Wait, what? She was just like her. Yeah. She was just as warm as mom was. Oh my god, is this not over yet? Lady Donzo, we should be on our way. Master and the others are heading back to the hermitage. Lady Donzo, are you? Oh, no. My apologies. I was simply rebooting. Please go on without me, Lord Fuma. I shall catch up soon. Okay, got it. Then I'll see you at the bottom. By the way, Lord Fuma, earlier you didn't quite finish speaking. Was there something else you wanted to tell me? No, it's... It's nothing. Please pay it no mind. That's right. It is nothing, since you don't remember me. This world is different from its original history, and I don't think it began here in Shimosa or Tokei. That's why you're still operating, and continuing to serve as a ninja. Isn't that right, Mother? Sorry, what? I don't think you get to drop that bomb and then just walk away game. <laughs>
Oh, God, that's right. There's a whole other section. I forgot that was only the third arrow. Jesus. Ugh, I was so excited. I was going to be like, oh, I can finally stop for a bit. Nope. <sighs> Anwi and Tutski are both uh, fast asleep. After the day they had, I wouldn't be surprised if they didn't wake up until tomorrow. They must be exhausted after everything that happened, so we should let them rest for as long as they need. Yup. <laughs> Great idea. I've got a special udon recipe I've been holding on to for just this sort of occasion. In fact, I just learned a really nice way to make udon dough while I was traveling around Sanuki recent recently. We can use dried fish for the soup stock. On second thought, maybe kombu would be the way to go. Oh, right. I've got something else to tell you before Grandpa Moramasa heads to his smithy. Basically, I have some thoughts about Samagata Hell and Kalasutra Hell that I thought I should share. In a word, they seemed kind of strange to me. I've faced Oni several times before, not just in Onigashima. But I've never met an Oni quite like them. Of course, they were still very Oni-like, but... It was odd. Talking with them like that, and then there's things like Samagata Hell sticking her hand in your stomach without killing you. How's your wound doing? It still hurts, doesn't it? Eh. Is that so? Are you just trying to tough it out? Are you seriously trying to make sure I don't worry about you? Or do you feel like you can't afford to let a little pain stop you when we have two swordmasters and their ringleader to fight? Of course, I guess it could be all of the above, huh? In fact, I bet that's what it is. Even when all the odds are against you, you never back down. And it's not because you know you can always find a way to escape. It's because you can never give up on life. I'll take your silence as a yes. Well, I'm not about to back out either. Now that we've come this far, I'll stick with you to the end. If you want to fight, I'll fight. If you want to run, I'll join you. I'll follow you anywhere, even to another world. But you're not going to run away, are you? No. Unfortunately. Even when the plot even when the plot says I can, I don't for some dumbass reason. <laughs> still got things to do. I figured you'd say that. Not to mention we still have to fulfill our promise to Lord Inchuan. We have to take care of everything that's threatening Shimosa. I'm staying with you until that's done. Who will you face next? Who will you protect? Who will you save? I trust you to do whatever you think is right. Me, I'll just stick to fighting who, who, uh, however I like. The race for blood has reached its climax. Between Hitachi Shimosa and the army slaughtered at Arakawa River and Sagami, there are now well over 10,000 humans dead. Through these massacres, the heroic spirit swordmasters have spread regret and loathing across this world, even as they offered up their own souls upon their deaths. What a truly, truly fantastic job they did! Samagata Hell, the Berserker Oni. Kalasutra Hell, the Motherly Rider. I applaud you both for your excellent work! You have proven your foolishness and been utterly humiliated beyond compare! Fantastic. No wonder you both left your marks as heroes on humanity. You are both excellent role models for anti-heroes everywhere. Fantastic. Splendid. Wonderful. Show us a lot more elbow room in this place now. The two bloodstained flowers who bloomed brightest at night are both gone. This master of Kiada person and Shinman Musashi are stronger than we thought. Veni Zanagi, Shinman Musashi, they are the protectors of the human world, whether they realize it or not. The fi they fight so they may live, they struggle so they may live. Ah, uh, such contemptible righteous souls, they are the spitting image, image of S Semei himself. That is as it should be, our opponent should strive for nothing less. There is no point slaughtering those who have given up on life. However, there is meaning in destroying a world overflowing with the desire to live. Uh-huh. The way you say that makes it sound like you have a lot of faith in them, Lord Sorcerer. If you've run out of other pawns, does that mean I'm up next? I was all set to rot away in the mountains. 
You're the one who brought me back. I never had any attachment to life. If you want to send me out next, I'll be happy to go out in a blaze of glory. No need. All you need concern yourself with is remaining by my side. Besides, if you were to go out... What did the Lord Sorcerer just say? If you were to go out, it would be all over too quickly. <laughs> How absurd. How preposterous. Clearly, I misheard him. I see. In that case, I'll just devote myself to being your worthless right-hand man until this is all over. The time is already upon us. With the race for blood finished, Onriido will soon be complete. As a holy grail, Onriido shall collect the heroic spirit Swordmaster's souls. It has already collected five, even as they have brought many other souls with them. Heroic spirit Swordmasters, your ultimate purpose is to die. You are not here to prove your prowess with a sword. You harbor bloodstained blades with your souls. Go forth, kill, and die. Is that Silhouette who I think it is? Well, if that's the case, I can finally give him a voice. You are not but sacrifices whose blood knows only slaughter. Offer up your souls, bladed ones, and bring Onriendo to fruition. Only two of you remain. I am of course speaking of you, Limbo and Emperor. Even after I embedded your souls with the curse of annihilation, you have retained your sense of self. Your blades are tainted beyond redemption, with none of a heroic spirit's pride. Now go and fulfill your final duty. Once you have, my only Indo will manifest here in Shimosa. I understand. Everything is for our ambitions, for our karma. When all is turned to hell, we shall triumph. Hmm, what a lovely thing to say. You have neither pride to lose nor a soul to taint. No wonder you have attained such beauty. It is more than I can bear. Now that your blade has fallen as far as it can go, tainted beyond repair, I look forward to seeing where it leads you. May you have an excellent slaughter and an excellent death. Oh, God. Alright, with that, we are in the final stretch. Only 16, only 16 sections to go, and if I recall, section 16 has nothing but story, so that means we only got three sections to sit through before we reach the climax. So, with that said and done, when next time, we'll probably be finishing off Shimosa. So until then, I'll catch you all later. Asta.